Okay, uh, so um, about a week ago, I jump into my van, and uh, lo and behold, uh, air conditioner is on, but everything's blowing out the defrost duct. And I, I've known this for years, but uh, if you lose vacuum, um, these systems default to uh, defrost, so I, I knew it was a vacuum problem. So I went on YouTube, and I found a couple of videos, and uh, sure enough, uh, I probably have the same problem they did. Uh, but um, I looked at both the videos that I found, and uh, although they fixed the problem, I, uh, well, I have my own spin on how to fix the problem, because I think it was a little harder uh, in their videos than it should have been. And I'll show you why. Uh, let's get started with this first. We got a little wind going here, so. Uh, first off, this is the line we're talking about. You can see it's red in color. And uh, I disconnected it. And this line, this part of the line, this one here, uh, disappears. <laughs> down uh, back behind the blower motor I, I'm, I'm not sure where it goes I'm gonna pull this out once I um, finish this job because I'm just curious as to where it you know where exactly it's leaking <coughs> but um, uh, this is the fitting and uh, in case you guys don't know this is nothing but a coupler here I've already pulled it out, this plastic piece. We're going to pull it out just in case we need it. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to I'm going to try to get this vacuum line which uh, behind here. Okay. Um, you probably can't see now, but you can, you can see it's loose there, and I'm going to pull it through from on the other end. So I'll have this long vacuum line on the inside. Now, I've already removed the doghouse, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, let me see if you can get a shot of where that thing goes. I was just looking at it now I lost <laughs> I lost it where are you where are you damn it just look for the red vacuum there it is there's a red vacuum lead right there and it gets plugged into the manifold the intake manifold back there and I don't know if I got enough light but you really don't need that to know that but uh it's plugged in back there somewhere. Anyway, this is the, the vacuum hose. Oh, oh, and by the way, I should mention, I've already measured the vacuum under the hood of the uh, truck. And there is vacuum through this hose, so it's not leaking through this hose. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it out. I can do this one-handed. Okay. And now I got the end here. And uh, this is how my fix differs from the ones in the other two videos, is that uh, uh, both guys cut this hose off. I don't see any reason to cut the hose off. I'm gonna use this hose that's gonna go through uh, the sidewall here of the uh, uh, doghouse or the frame here, whatever you wanna call this, this opening here. And uh, the hose we're looking for is under the footrest there, or near the footrest on the passenger side. That's the hose that feeds the ductwork. Okay, so I'm going to shut this down for a minute. I'm going to move to the other side. Okay, I'm back. And uh, we're on the passenger side right now. I got my Coleman lantern here, electric lantern. Give me a little bit more light. Maybe I can. Where's my flashlight? 
Hang loose for a second. Now, I only know this is here because I watched the other video. But uh, you can see, well, maybe you can't. Try my best. There's a couple of vacuum hoses there. One attaches to uh, something, and there's a black one. And that black hose is the one we want. And we're going to cut it open. This one right here comes through the uh, through the firewall, and we're going to cut that cut that off. And then we're going to join this end, and the end I took out, and uh, we're going to put them together and uh, we're going to use a hole here just like the other guys did <laughs> I'm getting all screwed up here with this camera there's a bracket here we're going to take one of those bolts out the upper one so that we can pass the hose through here and connect it up to that and one guy was using vacuum hose in the other video and he had actually had to drill that hole out to fit his vacuum hose through. That's why I said this is the easiest way. Just make use of what's there already. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let me get that hose cut. And okay, what I did was I got this piece of silicone rubber hose here and I slid it over the vacuum hose that I cut. It's the one that goes up into the fender well or, or goes up to the uh, 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 you know the servo motors, the vacuum motors uh, to pull in the duct work and this is just temporary setup. Uh, I'm gonna start the truck and I'm gonna make sure that the vents work before I go any further. I gotta go all the way over on the other side. Start it up. Thankfully, this happened uh, at a time when the, the weather in Florida broke, and it's it's like in the mid 80s, but it's pretty dry out, so it's, it's no humidity, hardly any. Yep, working. We got it, it's working. So, all I gotta do now is take that bolt out, run a hose through the hole, and it should be done. Okay, I took the bolt out, which by the way is a 10 millimeter. You need a 10 millimeter wrench. Uh, after taking the bolt out, looks like if I don't wanna have to drill, to get this thing to fit through the hole uh, here, over here, um, I'm gonna have to cut this off and I'll have to join it up to the uh, other end of that silicone tubing. It's no big deal. I'll just cut it off, a pair of dikes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we got. Uh, if I can see it right there. Hose. Oops, God, I hate waiting working on the dashboards. And the nose is coming through through the bracket. I took the bolt out, 10 millimeter bolt. Head is 10 millimeter. And I just joined it too. Uh, tied it off here on the engine so it doesn't get kinked or anything. It's stuffed behind uh, the heat shield. And uh, I'm going to put a little RTV in the hole there so we don't get any exhaust fumes in the uh, uh, passenger compartment. And uh, let's see, we'll do one final check here, make sure everything is working. Then I get to put the doghouse back in. That actually is the hardest part of this whole job. All right, we 
we're good. We're good. Whew. I'm sweating, I might just leave this thing on for a little while. <laughs> Alright, we're done with this. Hope you enjoy.